So question number 23. So adiabatic work of 200 kilojoules is done on ideal gas. So of mass 1 kg having uh, a specific heat at constant 1000 joule per kg Kelvin. So which is stored in a rigid container at a pressure of 100 kilopascal and a temperature of 300 Kelvin. So the change in entropy of an ideal gas during this process is. So he is saying that, so there is a rigid container. So there is a rigid container. So this rigid container, so on this rigid container, there is no boundary movement. Why? Because it is rigid, so the boundaries cannot be displaced. There is no boundary work. So he is saying that he is doing some work so the, on the gas which is present inside this rigid container. So only way I can do work is so by taking some stirrer and rotate the stirrer. This way you can do the work. So I am taking a stirrer and doing the some work. So when I rotate the stirrer, so whatever the work I do with the help of stirrer is used for heating the gas. You are moving the gas molecules, they move randomly. So temperature of this gas will increase. And he is saying that initially the temperature is 300 Kelvin. Initial temperature is 300 Kelvin. So after doing some work, so what will be the change in entropy for this ideal gas? So he gave, so mass of this ideal gas as 1 kg and specific heat at a constant volume is 1000 joule per kg Kelvin. Specific heat at constant volume is given, mass is given, so initial temperature is given. So after doing some work, so temperature of the gas increases, so that is the final temperature will be something else. Temperature increases why? because you are adding some work. The, all the work you are supplying is converted into heat energy. <coughs> so during this process, what is the change in entropy for the ideal gas? Now see here, so from TDS equations, so TDS is equals to so du plus PdV. So from this equation, so when I integrate this equation between the temperature limits and volume limits, so I can get so S2 minus S1 is equals to a Cv log so T2 by T1 plus R log so V2 by V1. Since it's a rigid container, so since it's a rigid container, so before doing work and after doing work, so there is no change in volume, so therefore log 1 is 0, V2 by V1 is 1. Now see here, so change in entropy for the ideal gas is a Cv, so Cv is given as 1000 log, so T2 by T1. I don't know what is T2 but I know T1, so T1 is 300. So, so what is this T2? So I can get T2 like this, so the change in temperature, the change in temperature or the, I can say the heat supplied to the gas to cause that change in temperature is exactly equal to the work supplied by the stirrer. So he's saying that work supplied by the stirrer is 200 kilojoules. This 200 kilojoules is used for increasing the heat of this gas. So I can say it is MCV delta T. I can say delta T is equal to so 200 into 10 power 3 divided by mass is given as 1 kg. CV is given as 1000. So I can say delta T is 200. So delta T is nothing but T2 minus T1 is 300 is 200. I can say final temperature of the gas after doing work will be around 500 Kelvin. So this is 500 Kelvin. So if you simplify this, if you simplify this, you will get 916 point 29 so joule per kg kelvin so as you can say so mass is 1 kg i can say it's joule per kelvin also <coughs>